Hello again, Devil Talk 73 here, the fisherman's friend. Uh, I've got a an update on how to level up faster farming for sturgeon in California. The whole idea is to catch as many fish as fast as you can to get that XP to level up so that if you want to go to Blue Crab Island or to Maku Maku, the Amazon, uh, this way you can do it faster. Uh, it's the same technique, essentially. We're going to fish uh, 9, 11, 1, and 3 at night. And that we're not going to move. We're going to stay in the same location. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You fish the first 15 minutes. The only way you fish longer than 15 minutes is if you are landing a fish and it goes beyond the 15 minutes. And then all you do is advance to the next next time period. Uh, if you're catching one at 11 o'clock and it goes to uh, 11, 16, 17, 18, go ahead and bring that fish in and then start over again, advance to 1 o'clock and start again. But don't move because when we move, it takes time. And we set up at that second location, and you might catch one, you might catch two. But while you're doing that, if you go back and just advance to the next applicable hour, you'll already catch more fish. So you might catch 11 in one night, you might catch 20 in one night, you might catch 12 in one night, it doesn't matter. You're going to fish uh, that, seven, that 15 minutes. It uh, takes about three and a half to four minutes to fish. So each night you're only going to wind up fishing approximately 20 minutes real time. And catch as many sturgeon as you can. So uh, like always what I'm going to use is the, uh, the bottom rods. Uh, I put uh, barbless hooks 6.0 on. So I get more XP, and the bait we're going to be using, of course, is the uh, spawn sack. Four rods, all set up the same with spawn sack. Okay, now I've already set my first three rods up. Uh, I like to go ahead and have them clipped at uh, 85 feet. The way I do that before I, before I go there at night, cast out, and if I wind up too long, I bring it back. And I like to set about 87 or 88 because when you set it down on the rod stand, there's a chance. <laughs> thought I had a fish there for a second. If you set it down on the rod stand, uh, there's a good chance that you're going to, uh, it's going to peel back a little bit. If you go just a, a little, just a little, this here's the casting line on that graph. If you go just a little bit above it, when you set it down on the rod stand, it's going to have a little loose line and it'll come back to 85, 84. If you hit it dead on that, that line, it'll come back maybe 1 to 86, and that's okay too. So uh, we're going to fish the worst possible night. We start at this low peak, and uh, I'll show you what, what happens. So we're going to set a rod stand. We want everything ready to go when we get there. So uh, tell you what, let's do two. Let's go to a private room. So I won't have people walking around. or <laughs> We won't trip over anybody else's rods. Or get in their way. So let's see. Are we still clipped? Yeah, we're still clipped. Make sure all of them are. Just because one is doesn't mean they all are. Okay. And we'll put a rod stand down. Now here we are. We're just preparing. That's all we want to do. We want to do that during the daylight. We don't want to do it during time is a fish I 
Okay. Now, here again. Do you see that pylon right there? We're going to be fishing just to the right of it. See that opening space right there between that bush and that, that taller tree or bush, whatever it is? Kind of in the middle of that, 85 feet out. Okay. So now, all we're going to do is we're going to go to 9 p.m. Now, here's a good thing. When you fish at night, when you get done with your 3 a.m., you can go to the next night at 9 p.m. and not have to use coins. There's no cool down when you go from night to night. So, 9 o'clock. And like I said, we're after XP. It's two thousand dollars to extend, but we'll we'll take care of that easily. And I like to leave my light on so I don't make make sure more less likely to put the rods down in the wrong location on the rod stand because I do that. See, it comes off a of seven. If you hit pretty close to that line. It's going to come back, but it'll come back. And like I said, we're at the worst possible start for this method. Okay, I got the lights on here in my room. So I'm going to turn my... Normally I fish for the lights off. I'm going to turn it on so I can watch this. This little part right here is called a spring arm. When that goes up and it's parallel and stays parallel to the rod, you got a fish on. You don't have to wait till the rod tip to bow or watch the line move. If that spring arm comes up with your light alarm going off, you know you've got a fish on. Okay. Just something that to help you out. And if I get one, if I get none, I'm gonna fish to 915 and then I'm gonna go ahead and crank in and go to the next time. Here's one. Stay on there. Come back and get it again. <laughs> and I use the barbless hooks because you get 25% more XP. You get more, more money too, but we're not after money right now. We're after XP so that we can go to level up to either uh, 58 or 60. 58 so we can go to Blue Crab or the Amazon. And there's two baits down there in the Amazon, chicken livers and meat chunks that you have to be level 58 in order to buy. One's 57, one's 58 in order to buy. And they're good baits for the uh, catfish down there, for the ripsaw catfish and for the gilded, gilder, gilded, gilded catfish. The gilded catfish get, get pretty big. The rip, ripsaw, not quite as big. And they work for the uh, silver croaker too. And a silver croaker has pretty good XP. Well, we're at 11. 9 11. And like I say, if we catch one, if we catch none, this is the absolute worst scenario. Well, I'd like to get one. <laughs> If not, if I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. Do you know what kind of tiny whiteies clouds wear? Thunderwear. <laughs> That's my joke for the day. I thought that was funny. Well, I'm going to start reeling them in. Like I say, worst case scenario. Whatever you get is what you get. That took us about four minutes. I ain't lost a lot of time. And believe me, the other nine o'clock peaks start off better.
And if you'll stick with this, you'll do good. See, I went a little bit over it that time. So let's see how much. I didn't go back any. So we got lucky there. We're still in a good area. Oops. Went over again. Turn light off. Maybe I scared them away. What do you think? See how that spring line, spring arm is parallel to the rod? We got a fish. Now I'll leave that off so I can see. Up oh, there's one on four too. So now I'm gonna do a shift one and pick up four. Now try to remember your sequence. If you get four on, you need to go back and Pick them back up the sequence in which you picked them up originally. That way you don't lose them by the line getting slack. And that'll happen too. And I think they've kind of eased up on the fighting characteristics of these sturgeons. So they don't take quite as long to get them in. Then we got action on two. So we'll pick up two. See, I done lost one because I waited too long. My fault, not the game's fault. And it wouldn't have mattered whether I had on a barbless hook or a regular hook. Here's something else you can do too. If I put it back in the rod stand, Leave it there for a second or two and then pick it up again. Sometimes you gain a little distance on it. When you find one fish, it's a little easier to do. See there, it, it, what we gained is the fact that we could reel it in more. And we got action on three now. See, I've got, I've got to rank up or level up to 58 just like y'all do. So that's what I'm after. I'm at 55 right now working. Now I got lucky. I got asked to test, beta test the, the new lake down there and try to find bugs. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I appreciated them letting me, asking me to do that. And it was fun. Okay, we're at 12. So we're going to reel them on in because by the time I throw them back out there, cast back out, it'll be time to reel them in anyhow. So there's no sense. Here again, time. Time and fish, that's all we care about. See, that one I went up way above. So let's see what it does. So it came back two feet. Action on two. Learn your lights too. Learn your alarms on your rod stand so you know which lights are going off. Had a bite there on one. Went away. Now see if I can get this one in. Come on now. Come on. I ah, went back down. Come on. Come on. Okay, I went to put it down. Pick up three. Now 
one. Okay, pick up two again. You'll come on in now. And three. I'm going to put it down and pick up one so I don't lose that fish. And I got action on four, I see there. You going to come on in and help me? Come on. There you go. Come on in. Thank you. Pick up four. Come on, come on. Thank you. Okay. Put it down and pick up three. Come on in. Come on. Thank you. Pick up four again. This whole time is going to be 20 minutes or less. Depending on how long you have to fight one after the 15 minutes. See, we're at 14 minutes and we're done. Okay. Running. Don't you do that to me again. That's the problem. When you get that running and that rectangle, sometimes it'll go off. Sometimes it'll stay on. I let it stay on one time for an hour game time and didn't go off. The only time that you can get rid of it in a hurry is to close the game, come back in the game again. So that's what we're going to do. I ain't going to waste time on it. I'll be right back. That's a shame. And that fish you lose, too. There's nothing we can do about it. We should still be at the same time. Problem is, I think all of our clips are gone. So that was our final fish at that time. That 1 o'clock, 1 to one fifteen time. Yep, our clips are gone. So let's reclip them. See, we're at 117 anyhow. We're okay. Best laid plans of mice and men. Have to gain a glee. Off go astray. Hey, mistakes happen. I didn't do it. The game did it. This time. <laughs> Usually it's me making a mistake. Look at here. Miracles do happen every now and then. Now, except for the mess up on the the running and the game locking up, you're still only going to spend roughly 20 minutes total fishing time 
for the four time frames, 15, 15, 15, 15. So let's put a rod stand back down. Turn the light on so we can see where we at. Yeah, we're in good shape. Okay. Let's get our number one. We're there. Okay, now we're going to go on to the three o'clock hour. We hadn't lost anything but the time to restart the game. And we lost lost that one fish. Which that's XP and that's 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 a shame, but ain't a whole lot we can do about it. You deal with it and go on. Kind of like what we're dealing with now, this COVID-19. My wife and I have been pretty well holed up for three months. We go out once a week, get groceries and Maybe go to the post office and drop stuff off in the outside box. And uh, go to the drive through when at the bank to move money or whatever we need to do. That's it. The rest of the time we're here. Action on two. This is coming in pretty fast. Where it was. Come on, come on in. Here we go. Thank you. Action on all the rest, of, all three of them now. So let's do two. Shift two, three. When it starts slowing down, it's, it's when I go ahead and bring the next in. Oops, shift three. Sorry. Missed my three. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. Shift four, two. Turn the line so you can see where my, my rod is. It's way up, well, behind me. <laughs> Let's go over there and get it. Don't waste no time. You don't make nothing by reeling and cranking. Make make her XP by bringing fish in. Okay, two. Three. That's number three rod. Really in a little bit. Bring in number four again so we don't lose it. See now we're we're gonna go past we're gonna get close to the fifteen minutes, but But by picking him up and laying down, picking up and laying down, I didn't lose any that time. I didn't lose any because of uh, slack line. So we did pretty good. That'll happen. And a whole lot we can do about it. Okay. Like I said, this was worst possible case scenario. We caught uh, 10 fish. We got $31,000. And our XP is going to be 5, 10, 15, 21, 27, 33, 40, 47, 54, 62, about 6,500 XP, okay? So then what we will do, all we do then, if we go back to number, we'll start with number one pole again. Hit her time key. Go to the next nine o'clock the next night and start all over. Oops, I went nine a.m. See, there's our XP sixty-seven hundred. I missed it by two hundred. Okay, it's going to cost me a coin to uh, go on further, but that's that's it. That's the new and improved method. Stay at the same spot. 
and uh, just go from 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock and do it over and over and over. So, I hope it helps. That's that's what I'll be doing for the next few days till I get to level 58 so I can go either to uh, Blue Crab or the Amazon. Okay? So, thanks for watching. God bless you and your family. Uh, keep safe and be well. And any comments, uh, good, bad, whichever you care to leave, uh, will be fine with me. Uh, let's just have some fun. So be sure and subscribe, please. That will, that'll help both of us. Uh, let me know that you're interested enough to subscribe. And hit that button over there that, uh, that allows you to get emails when I put up any new videos. So uh, that's about it. Catch a lot of fish, catch a bunch of big fish. This is Double Talk 73, the fisherman's friend, saying, I'll be back. <laughs> catch you later. Y'all come back now, you hear?